Hello, this is the Cambridge Flyers practice listening test, test two. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. So, this is your music club, is it? Yes. Do you want to sit and watch them for a few minutes, Dad? OK. Who is the girl that's playing the drums? That's Sarah. She's good, isn't she? Yes, she is. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Who is the girl who's dancing? Between the two boys, you mean? Yes. That's Helen. Oh, right. Is that Richard, the boy who's wearing a scarf on his head? There are two boys wearing scarves. The one at the front. The singer? Yes. Yes, that's him. They're not bad, are they? They're all OK, but Michael's excellent. The boy who is playing the guitar? No, the one at the piano. Oh, yes, I know him. I couldn't see his face very well. Does William ever come to the club? Yes, he's here. He's one of our dancers. Which one? He has his hands above his head. Oh, yes, I can see him. Which one do you like best? The girl with the guitar. Is that Emma? Yes. How did you know? Oh, I know her mum and dad. Now listen to part one again. Who is the girl who's dancing? Between the two boys, you mean? Yes. That's Helen. Oh, right. Is that Richard, the boy who's wearing a scarf on his head? There are two boys wearing scarves. The one at the front? The singer? Yes. Yes, that's him. They're not bad, are they? They're all OK, but Michael's excellent. The boy who is playing the guitar? No, the one at the piano. Oh, yes, I know him. I couldn't see his face very well. Does William ever come to the club? Yes, he's here. He's one of our dancers. Which one? He has his hands above his head. Oh, yes, I can see him. Which one do you like best? The girl with the guitar. Is that Emma? Yes. How did you know? Oh, I know her mum and dad. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, young man. Do you want to ask me some questions? Yes, I've got to write some things about you for my homework. Well? When I see you on TV, everyone just calls you Betty. Do you have another name? Yes, it's Betty Fountain. That's F-O-U-N-T-A-I-N. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Right. Now I know. But I don't know how old you are. <laughs> you guess. Mmm, 43? 
no, fifty-seven. But you look so young. Well, I try to eat the right things. Like what? I usually eat salad, rice, and fish. Hmm. Do you live in a big house near the beach, like all the other actors and singers? No, I have a flat in the city, and a little house in a village. Oh, what do you do in your holidays? We love sports, so in winter we go skiing, and in the summer we go climbing. Who do you go with? I always go on holiday with my husband. Now listen to part two again. Right, now I know, but I don't know how old you are. <laughs> you guess. Hmm, forty-three. <laughs> no, fifty-seven. But you look so young. Well, I try to eat the right things. Like what? I usually eat salad, rice, and fish. Hmm. Do you live in a big house near the beach, like all the other actors and singers? No, I have a flat in the city, and a little house in a village. Oh, what do you do in your holidays? We love sports, so in winter we go skiing, and in the summer we go climbing. Who do you go with? I always go on holiday with my husband. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Alex's uncle loves taking photos with his new camera. Where did he take each photo? Look at these, Alex. There's some photos that I took with my new camera. Oh, they look great. You are clever. <laughs> I took this photo of these flowers when we were having a picnic by the lake. We walked there on Sunday. We were on holiday there. Can you see the letter C? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Where did you take this one? The one of the two men. Well, I met them last week. I went with them to visit an old village in the mountains. This is a photo of them back at our hotel in the city. They were on their balcony there. And look at this lovely swan, Alex. It's great. Your aunt and I were sitting by the river in town when I took this photo. It was very hot and sunny that day. We had lunch there. I enjoyed that day. I love this one. Why? Well, I'll tell you the story about this one. We were walking over a bridge on Thursday when suddenly this parrot shouted out, "Hello!" I quickly took a picture of it before it flew back into the trees. It had a very long tail. Wow! How exciting! You'll like this one too. All the others wanted to stay on the beach at the weekend, but I wanted to do something more interesting. I found a dark cave there and went inside. There were lots of bats there. Here's the photo that I took of them. Weren't you afraid? No. And what about this one? Hmm. I saw these strange insects on the rocks near a waterfall. Perhaps they liked the lovely cold water. It was another very hot day. I don't know what kind they are. Do you? No, but it's a great photo. They all are. Thanks, Alex. Now listen to part three again. Where did you take this one? The one of the two men. Well, I met them last week. I went with them to visit an old village in the mountains. This is a photo of them back at our hotel in the city. They were on their balcony there. And look at this lovely swan, Alex. It's great. 
Your aunt and I were sitting by the river in town when I took this photo. It was very hot and sunny that day. We had lunch there. I enjoyed that day. I love this one. Why? Well, I'll tell you the story about this one. We were walking over a bridge on Thursday when suddenly this parrot shouted out, Hello! I quickly took a picture of it before it flew back into the trees. It had a very long tail. Wow! How exciting! You'll like this one too. All the others wanted to stay on the beach at the weekend, but I wanted to do something more interesting. I found a dark cave there and went inside. There were lots of bats there. Here's the photo that I took of them. Weren't you afraid? No. And what about this one? Hmm. I saw these strange insects on the rocks near a waterfall. Perhaps they liked the lovely cold water. It was another very hot day. I don't know what kind they are. Do you? No. But it's a great photo. They all are. Thanks, Alex. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. What time did school finish? Hello, Sarah. You're late. It's after seven. Well, I play tennis with Sue after school today. But school finished at half past three. That was a long tennis game. Well, we played until half past five, and then we went to Sue's house. We were very thirsty, and her mum gave us some lemonade. All right, but why didn't you phone us? Sorry, Dad. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Which is Sarah's favourite lesson? We had my favourite lesson today. What? Art? No, that's not my favourite. Well, it was. Oh, I liked art when I was younger, but I prefer science subjects now. And geography. I love learning all about the world. That's the best subject. Two. Which girl is Sally? There's a new girl in my class, Dad. Her name's Sally. Is she nice? Very nice. And she's got lovely long hair. Well, your short hair is lovely too, Sarah. Yes, but Sally's hair is curly and mine's all straight. Three. Which team is Sarah in? Something excellent happened today. What? I'm going to be in a big sports competition. It's for lots of schools. Great. Which sports? Well, some of my friends are going to be in races or play volleyball, but I'm in the swimming team. Four. What did Sarah have for lunch? What did you have for lunch today? Burgers and French fries. Did you have any salad with that or fruit? No, I didn't. Sarah, you should always. Dad, stop, please. Five. What is Sarah going to do next? Well, what are you going to do now, Sarah? Are you hungry? No, I'm not. Can I have supper later? Okay. Are you going to do your homework now? Did your teacher give you some today? Yes, she did. She gave us some geography and maths. Okay. Well, you should do it now. I think. Oh, Dad, it's so hot this evening. I must have a shower first. I'll do my homework after that. Now listen to part four again. 
One, which is Sarah's favourite lesson? We had my favourite lesson today. What art? No, that's not my favourite. Well, it was. Oh, I liked art when I was younger, but I prefer science subjects now, and geography. I love learning all about the world. That's the best subject. Two. Which girl is Sally? There's a new girl in my class, Dad. Her name's Sally. Is she nice? Very nice, and she's got lovely long hair. Well, your short hair is lovely too, Sarah. Yes, but Sally's hair is curly, and mine's all straight. Three. Which team is Sarah in? Something excellent happened today. What? I'm going to be in a big sports competition. It's for lots of schools. Great. Which sports? Well, some of my friends are going to be in races or play volleyball, but I'm in the swimming team. Four. What did Sarah have for lunch? What did you have for lunch today? Burgers and French fries. Did you have any salad with that or fruit? No, I didn't. Sarah, you should always. Dad, stop, please. Five. What is Sarah going to do next? Well, what are you going to do now, Sarah? Are you hungry? No, I'm not. Can I have supper later? Okay. Are you going to do your homework now? Did your teacher give you some today? Yes, she did. She gave us some geography and maths. Okay. Well, you should do it now. I think. Oh, Dad, it's so hot this evening. I must have a shower first. I'll do my homework after that. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Okay, are you ready? Shall we start? All right. Can you see the boy? He's riding a bicycle. Colour his hat. What colour shall I do it? Is purple okay? Yes, that's fine. Can you see the boy's purple hat? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write and draw. One. Can you see the woman in the picture? Yes, she's crossing the street. That's right. Can you colour her suitcase, please? Can I colour it red? I prefer brown. Oh, all right then. Two. Do you want to colour something else? Yes, but can I choose the colour this time? All right. Let's colour something on the ambulance. Can I colour its light? It's on the top of the ambulance. That will be good. What colour are you going to choose? Blue. Three. Would you like to write something now? Oh, is it difficult? No, it's very easy. Can you see the shop? The one that sells books. Yes. Can you write books on the front? Okay, that is easy. Four. What next? Okay. This time, can you colour something that the boy is wearing? His trousers. 
No, that will take too long. His scarf. Yes. Okay. Colour it green. Five. Last one now. Can you draw well? I'll try. Can you draw an umbrella? Draw it in the woman's hand. Okay. And colour it yellow. Yes, I can do that. Now listen to part five again. One. Can you see the woman in the picture? Yes, she's crossing the street. That's right. Can you colour her suitcase, please? Can I colour it red? I prefer brown. Oh, all right then. Two. Do you want to colour something else? Yes, but can I choose the colour this time? All right. Let's colour something on the ambulance. Can I colour its light? It's on the top of the ambulance. That will be good. What colour are you going to choose? Blue. Three. Would you like to write something now? Oh, is it difficult? No, it's very easy. Can you see the shop? The one that sells books. Yes. Can you write books on the front? Okay, that is easy. Four. What next? OK, this time, can you colour something that the boy is wearing? His trousers? No, that will take too long. His scarf? Yes, OK. Colour it green. Five. Last one now. Can you draw well? I'll try. Can you draw an umbrella? Draw it in the woman's hand. OK. And colour it yellow. Yes, I can do that. That is the end of the Flyers' practice listening test too.